Good morning, Foundation family. We are so excited to have you here this morning for another episode of Foundation Kids Art Corner. If you notice on my table, I have some very beautiful colors laid out. I wonder if you can guess what we'll be talking about today. There's lots of colors. That's right, we'll be talking about the rainbow. Now, if any of you guys know this, you're ahead of the game, but there's kind of a phrase that helps you remember the order of the rainbow, and that's Roy G. Biv. Now, Roy stands for R is for red, O is for orange, Y is for yellow, the G stands for green, and the Biv stands for blue, indigo, and violet. Now, a violet is the art word for purple, and indigo is a mixture of deep blue and violet. So that's kind of why these two are kind of laid over top of each other, because that indigo is a mixture of that deep blue and violet. So we're going to look at the rainbow, and we're going to make our own rainbow. Now, on social media, as I've been a, a little bit more than normal because we're stuck inside, I saw something pop up about a week ago about this um, rainbow going around. And it said, let's all be well. So what I read on it was that, you know, in Europe and in Italy and different places, there's kids making these rainbows and they're writing the phrase, let's all be well in their own language, and hanging them on their windows for everyone to see as they walk by or to see from their own houses. And I thought that was really cool. I know being stuck inside is not a lot of fun right now. You miss your friends and you miss going to school. So I figured a way to brighten your day and brighten someone else's day was to make some rainbows. I'm going to show you two different ways to make these rainbows today. Um, so you see I have kind of a, I have some paper and some foam and some felt and some stickers to make our first rainbow. And so you're going to need a piece of paper. Uh, you can anything, any size, any color. I chose one that is pretty neutral, which means it's not one of these colors. So these colors will stand up against it. You're going to need to draw eight arches to make your rainbow. Now, if you're feeling a little scared about drawing your rainbow, we actually have a image that I made um, that you can download at foundationnewton.com slash kids. It's on our website. It's like the first button at the top of the page. If you click it, it'll pop up a PDF and you can download that and print that at home. And so for your rainbow, like I said, you're going to need to draw eight lines. And why do you think we need to draw eight lines? It's because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors, but you need an eighth line to complete it because we're not drawing just a line. It's going to be an actual space. So you're first going to start off with the first line and you want it to be the biggest one and work your way inside. So you're just going to go up to the top of your paper and back down. So that's one. Here's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, because sometimes keeping the colors in order is a little hard, so you can take a pencil or um, a pen and just real lightly and somewhere small write Roy G Biv. That way as you're going to make your rainbow you can remember which space is for which color. So our first rainbow that we can make today I figured it'd be really cool to kind of go around the house and grab some different items. So if you have paper or felt, foam, pom-pom stickers, buttons, whatever your parents or your grandma or your uncle can help you find at your house of all the different colors, bring them to them. And the way we're gonna do this is you're just gonna kinda collage around. So that first one, like I said, is red. So I have some felt, I'm just gonna cut a piece of felt here. I'm gonna maybe cut something out of my thumb, right? And I even have some cool scissors that cut different shapes as um, they cut, so I'm just gonna cut, you know, some red paper as well. And you're gonna wanna cut enough to kinda fill around your arch. Make that a little smaller. 
And so you're gonna need some glue. I like Elmer's glue. It holds just about anything you can imagine. So you wanna glue the back. A little glue goes a long way with Elmer's glue. You're gonna glue it into that arch. Same with the foam. And then glue that. Now, as I was thinking about these rainbows, I thought of an artist that I know that makes really cool, colorful artwork. As a teacher, I always love bringing in different artists for everything that we do inside a classroom. Because uh, I think it's always cool to relate it to someone who's doing it on a professional level. So as I was making my rainbow yesterday, I thought Chris Uphuse is a really good artist who uses lots of colors. That's a picture of him on the screen. Uh, and so he is a street artist. And so that means he paints on walls and buildings. Uh, but he also makes screen prints um, and handmade paintings. And so actually I was able to get one of his paintings um, just recently. I have it framed at our house now and I love it. But he uses all the different colors in the spectrum and I love it. He's a really cool artist. So if you're sitting around, you're thinking, I want to look up someone different to look at as an artist, Chris Uphughes would be a great one to check out. He does these hearts with faces and they sometimes they smile, sometimes they stick out their tongue. It's really cool. So you're going to want to just continue finding stuff around the house with these colors to glue in your arches. All right, so I have paper, it goes red, orange, even got some pom-poms. I've got stickers, I've got buttons. So anything that your parents are like, okay, you can glue this to a piece of paper. You're gonna wanna go ahead and glue it. And so I did one yesterday. And so I went ahead and I did all the colors and I glued on them. And I even went back with some markers as well and kind of filled in the other space around it. And then I wrote, let's all be well around the top of it. So this is the finished product. Once you're done collaging and kind of finding the things around your house that you can make into colors, you want to glue them on, let it dry overnight, and then go ahead and let's all be well. And then you want to hang it in your window so your neighbors can see it um, and your family can see it and kind of be you know, have their day brightened. The second thing I'm gonna show you to how to make your art rainbow is a watercolor rainbow. Now, I know some of you guys might not have watercolors at home, so I figured I'd show a hack for watercolors. So you don't need watercolors to make watercolors, you need some markers, um, paper, anything that's a little thicker than regular paper, so I have cardstock in front of me right now. You're gonna need a surface, so you can do a plastic plate, or foil or uh, uh, even a Ziploc bag would be okay to use for this. And you're gonna need, just need some washable markers. So I'm gonna start with red for my rainbow. And you wanna just draw on your surface, whether it is foil or a plate. You wanna just get a good area colored in with the marker. You're gonna grab a paintbrush and a cup of water. All right, you're gonna dip your paintbrush in your water, dab it off. You don't want it too wet. And you're gonna come back over to the plate and kind of swirl it around. And then you can begin painting your rainbow. I'm gonna go corner to corner on this one. And do it again, get some more. All right, so it's not as vibrant as regular watercolors, but it's a good hack if you don't have any watercolors at home. This way, you can still paint just with washable markers. So you're gonna wanna paint, so let's see, red was the first color of the rainbow. Then comes, is it yellow? No, it's orange. Orange Roy, remember R O Y. So orange is next. And you're gonna do the same thing. Dip that paintbrush in the water. Put it to your marker that you've drawn out. You're gonna make these arches nice and big. You want to start off really big with your arch. 
because if you start off really tiny, there's nowhere to go, right? You're going to run out of space when, by the time you get to blue and indigo and violet. So I did orange. Then we have yellow. Do some yellow on this plate. Yellow is always a little hard to see. You might need to clean off your paintbrush. My orange is still pretty strong on my paintbrush. Yellow. Let's see. Now, I want you guys to tell me in the comments what your favorite color of the rainbow is. Is it blue, like my hair? Or maybe it's purple, which is indigo, or violet. Um, maybe it's green. I know Brooke, Clint's wife's favorite color is Kelly green. Well, she likes to wear Kelly green. Um, and that's that color that we're gonna do next. My favorite color is definitely blue, which may be why my hair is blue, I don't know. I've always loved blue. When I was younger, my bedroom had blue walls, pink, green, um, and yellow polka dots all over it. So it was a very colorful room. Let's see, green after green. So we did Roy. We're at the G for green, the B for blue. Color on this plate again with that markers. Maybe some of you guys have some really cool painted colored rooms. I remember me and my mom painting my room. It took us like three days. We had to draw out all the polka dots, painted the wall first, and then went back over with the polka dots. It was a really, really long process. But my room looked super cool. I loved it. So maybe some of you guys have some really cool paintings in your room. I know I've seen some paintings on Facebook that parents have done in kids rooms always love seeing what you guys do at home so now we're at uh, indigo and indigo like I said is blue and violet so you're gonna mix them together grab that water paint it around and drag that across See, and this is a good way to paint too because this paint doesn't stain clothes because it's washable markers. So you can tell mom and dad that, hey, I want to paint and it's safe painting. It's not going to stain any clothes. This is washable. It'll come right off. And then violet is our last one. Let's go ahead and get that. And there's our violet. All right, so there's your rainbow. Uh, but remember, like I said, there was a phrase that went with the rainbow. Does anyone remember that phrase? Um, let's be awesome. No, that wasn't it. It's pretty close, though. It's let's all be well. So before I finish up, I want to write that. And so I'm going to write it in cursive because I like writing cursive. But you can write it any way you want all be well so now when you're finished with this you can hang it in your window at your house or in your bedroom and you can show your neighbors it um, that way they can see it and kind of be you know have their day brightened from inside their house since they aren't able to go outside just like you're not able to go outside right now let's kind of bring some happiness to them so that is our art corner for today and that's your challenge this week is to make your own rainbow and like I said, we do have the PDF on the website. If you want to download uh, the outline I have, the coloring sheet, you can download that on the website, foundationnoonan.com slash kids. It'll be right there at the top of the page, a little download button for that coloring sheet. Uh, you want to draw it, you want to color it, and you want to write, let's all be well and hang them in your windows. And we want to see them. If you make a painting one or if you make a collage one, we want to see your rainbows um, hanging up in your windows. You can post it to Facebook and tag us at Foundation Noonan. Uh, we are so excited to see what you guys will create this week. 
All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Thank you.